Good morning, it's me, Marine Bhatt, and I'm from class 6. And today I'm going to show you that does a potato and these vegetables and rice contain starch? So we know that carbohydrates gives us energy. There are two forms of carbohydrate. The first is the first one is in the form of sugar, and the second one is the starch. So how to test starch? We need some drops of iodine, and then we uh, if the uh, if the potato's color change it into blackish blue color, so that means this potato and these vegetables and rice has uh, starch. So let's see. We have to wait for some time. Let's check the rice now. Yes, the rice color changing. Um, the potato color changes, the rice color also changes, but the cucumber and the cauliflower contain starch but in a low quantity. And thank you, have a nice day. I'm Taiwan Muzaffar, so today I'm going to do a simple experiment. So today I'm going to check the presence of protein in our food. So protein are needed for the growth and repair of our body. Foods containing proteins are often called as bodybuilding foods. So the main, uh, the two main chemicals that we are going to use in this uh, experiment are copper sulfate. The formula of copper sulfate is CuSO4. Cu stands for copper, SO4 stands for sulfate. And the next one is caustic soda. I brought it uh, in the form of solid. You know why? Because in the form of liquid, it can be dangerous. So if it eventually contacts with water, it causes, uh, it releases heat because of the chemical reaction. So that's why for the safety, I wore my claws. So let's start the experiment. Okay. Let's add some water to it. Mix it well. Now let's take the caustic soda. Let's add some water to it. And now let's mix it with the egg. If the color change, that means it contains protein. As you can see the color change, that means it contains protein. Thank you. Thank you everyone. Today it's me Hafsa and my friend Nilofer. We are here to check the presence of fats in our food. So let's start our test. First I will use this oil. Spread the oil on the paper. Time, you will see this translucent stem on the paper which tells us that this food contains fats. We will take a plain paper and we will separate this butter on the page. You will see the translucent stem on the page. You will see the translucent uh, step on the page. 